What's up guys, I have another knife review for you today. This is the um, Alliance Design Knives designer Pat Hammond and it is the Scout and um, I was glad to when I saw this this came from the pass around group um, when I saw this I was glad because I actually have a pretty good collection of small knives because of where I work they had there's a blade limit of 2.5 inches so um, any chance I get of a knife that's small, uh, you know, a, a quality knife that's smaller, I um, like it to jump on it mm -hmm. because um, you know it gives me more options to take to carry at work. Uh, let's see. So this is my current collection minus the Scout because that's not mine. I also have a Microtech uh, 70 that's um, been sent back to them for warranty work. Um, that, but these are basically all my 2.5 sub 2.5 inch knives. Now, um, yeah, like I said, the, the the look of it when I first saw it, I was like, that looks good. Um, I probably like it. When I got it um, in hand, not so much. And I'll go over those reasons why. This is um, steel is R W U L. 34 I believe if it's uh, wrong I'll put it on the screen and let me go ahead and put all the uh, specs on there on the screen so you can pause and read but um, one thing I do like about this knife is the blade shape so it's I usually like a little more of a drop point but this this for some reason this uh, ooh, this is nice shaped I do like the the mill, milling and anna work that's done on the handle, I think that's very good design. Um, ergos are good, it's a three finger knife. So those are the those are the good of the knife. Uh, and also thin, nice thin blade stock. Uh, that's also good. And I like the the um, flipper tab and the and the and the coming out so the, the flipping out is good now where this knife starts and it is running on bearings where this knife starts to lose me is on the clothes so you'll see it's very thin stock and when it's a thin stock blade there's no room to get your finger in uh, in there so it's very and then when they do put it it's down here it's not up here this little cutout should be more up here but even more than that they should take a chunk out of this like a lot of knives I did this myself but um, you can see a lot of knives why don't they just give you the the area to disengage it makes it so much easier oh the ZT has it you can see the ZT is a little sorry the ZT is a little um, out sticks out and when it sticks out it makes it easier to get to disengage um, don't know what the reason is if you want to do how they have both sides cut out and then leave it flat with no cutout then you have to have a thicker blade stock which lets you get more of your thumb in um, I believe the busker has that also but it's a thicker blade stock so you can get your your finger in there um, this one they just dropped the ball on it it's and that's a critical you know opening closing the knife it's this is really it's an important part um, so they really mess that and <clears throat> where the relief is to where you're supposed to to push it out as is the distance is very small so there's not good leverage to to open it so it's doesn't it's not pleasant to open that at all um, so they really messed that one up. The next thing is the pocket clip. It's good clearance there, um, but you you put it in your pocket and you got this much of the knife out. That or this much of it out. That's just that's too much, in my opinion. Um, and so I don't recommend this knife. I do recommend this knife. 
has great action um, and great closing and you see they took the time and did a little detent ramp there so um, it's just very well made for the for the money you're getting a lot for this and let me go ahead and uh, put the price of this up on the screen and then I'll put the price up of that and if I'm not mistaken this is more money than that which is just uh, absurd um, so as far as like quality and, and everything materials this still has a beat because this has carbon and it, they did they did some uh, anno work on this one too but even though there's milling and anno work there's they had to mill out this and put the carbon in there so this uh, I believe is under two hundred dollars and I think this the, the scout is around 250 so those are just some things that um, make that you need that knife makers need to need to um, keep into consideration you need to open the knife you need to be able to close the knife you need to be able to put it in your pocket so it's like a uh, knife knife crazy it's a channel I like to watch a lot. Like he says, some some of these knife designers, we don't know if they've ever even carried a pocket knife before. So that's also another reason why I like um, people that like Zell, like Zellrick and stuff. They designed uh, knives and they actually carry and use knives, and you can tell in their designs. Um, so, but a lot of these other guys, I don't know if they do. So I'm not I'm not saying that that this guy d does or does not, but things things were this was a miss in my opinion. So like I said, I like the blade, I like the ergos, and I like the deployment, and I like the uh, styling. But for this kind of money, you gotta hit you gotta hit you gotta get a couple more you gotta get a couple more of those for me to for me to to buy it especially when there's a lot of good choices out there anyway guys that's all i got and i'll see you on the next one